Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my makeup brush favorites. Yes, that's right. You would not believe how many makeup brushes I have. I mean, I'm sure that it is in the hundreds. I've got like five different bins of makeup brushes. It's kind of a sickness. I do like makeup brushes, but having so many has really allowed me to test a lot of brushes. And in this video, I'll be showing you my absolute favorites. And I will tell you, I followed Emily Noel through the years, so many of these brushes are also her favorites. Some of them are brushes that are personal favorites of mine, but I'll link to her channel below. If you've not seen Emily Noel, you're really missing a treat. And in fact, the eyeshadow look that I created today is a one shadow look from her Emily Edit The Wants palette. She actually created this look on one of her videos and she used this one color here, Capricorn, a wonderful brown color. This is a one shadow look. I did use a little highlighter at the end, but everything else is just the one Capricorn color. And if you'd like to see a tutorial on this look, then please leave a comment in the comment section below. Again, it has Emily's shadow right here as far as the eye look, and then most of this is drugstore, so it's a very reasonable smoky eye look. And I will say if you're not a subscriber and you're 40, 50, or more, and you're interested in making your second half the best half, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you emails of my future videos. And if you can give this video a thumbs up too, that would be helpful. Okay, let's get down to this. And I will say that I started to apply this makeup and use all these brushes, but it was very obvious that it was going to be a hugely long video because I was talking so much about each brush. So again, if you'd like to see a tutorial of this, I'll do that separately. So this is just going to be my showing you my absolute favorite brushes. Now let's get started with the Sonia Kashuk Small Eyeshadow Brush, and there it is. This is an absolutely great eyeshadow lie down brush or lay down brush. And what you do is you start in the outer corner where you want the color to be darkest, and that's what I did here. And then you just tap the shadow all over the lid using this brush. And the thing I like about this eyeshadow brush, as opposed to the other 30 or so I have, is the size of this brush because with those larger brushes, the shadow would kind of fly everywhere. But this Sonia Kashuk small eyeshadow brush allows you to just place the eyeshadow exactly where you want it on the lid, and it results in a more precision look. Next, I have two Sigma crease brush favorites. The first is the Sigma E25, and that means I25. This is a wonderful little crease brush. It's very iconic. Many, many YouTubers use this, and I've been using this for a long time, but it's a wonderful way to get that shadow precisely in that crease area. And again, you start on the outside and make small little circles and work your way in. Absolutely a fabulous crease brush. And this is a wonderful blender brush. This is the Sigma E40, and it's just a wonderful, loose kind of blender brush. And I have many, but I absolutely love this one. And you just use this to go along the outside border of your crease just to soften it up and make sure everything is blended perfectly. Now, I just discovered this brush recently kind of by accident. I was placing a Sigma order on their website and I realized I need to spend a little more money to get free shipping. And I thought, ooh, this looks like a really good brush to work in your crease. And I'd never seen anyone use this on YouTube, but I love this brush and now I will never be without it. As you can see, it's got a triangular shaped head and it has very long, firm bristles. So what that enables you to do is to get a very, very precise crease. Basically, it looks exactly like a half moon once you get finished with this. If you've had problems getting your crease to look right, this brush may be for you. Now in this look, because it's dramatic, and actually in even my day-to-day -day looks, I really do like to bring that eyeshadow down underneath the lash line. And you can have that either a more dramatic line or a more diffused line. And this is the Sigma E21 Smudge Brush. Absolutely love this. Super simple to use, very precise, and it does keep its shape over time, which is absolutely wonderful. But you just dip this little brush into your shadow, tap it off, and then you're just going to go in under the lower lash line here, and it makes an absolutely perfect line, a very precise line. Absolutely love this one. Now, if you're interested in smudging out the lower lash line, but you want it to be a little more diffuse, a little softer, then the Sigma E30 pencil brush is the brush for you. Absolutely love this one. Basically, you use it in the same way that you use the smudge brush. And I really am a drama girl, so I really prefer the smudge brush. However, some of the time when it's like a daily look and I don't want to be too dramatic, I'll just use this little smudge brush, maybe in the outer third of the lower lash line. And then I'll go in with the Sigma pencil brush and use a lighter brown color over the whole thing or the same brown, but it just makes kind of a more diffused line that is not as dramatic as the smudge brush. But both of these are wonderful. 
Now this next brush is actually a metal lash comb and this just happens to be the Ulta Beauty brand. There are many of those out there. I don't think this is necessarily the best one, but it's the one I happen to have and it works very well. As you can see, it has wonderful little metal bristles there. And what you do is just before you curl your lashes, you go in with a little lash comb and make sure all those lashes are standing at attention. Absolutely love this. It and my lash curler are pretty much essentials. Okay, now let's get into foundation and concealer. And again, these are Sigma brushes and I absolutely love them. The first is the Sigma F80 and there it is. And you've seen me use this in a lot of videos, but basically what I do is I dab the foundation all over my face and then I use a little of this Urban Decay setting spray and I give it five spritzes on this little Sigma F80. And then I just go in on the forehead and just blend it all in well. And then under the eyes, I always go down in a downward motion because we have that peach fuzz and you just want to smooth that all out. And I bring that down a little bit on my neck, but I absolutely love this brush. Look at all those hundreds of little tiny soft bristles. Absolutely gives you a flawless finish. And then to apply my concealer, I use the Sigma Angled Precision Brush and it's the P84. And I guess that means Precision 84. And what I do is I just dab the concealer under my eyes, around my nose, and on my chin. And then I just use this little angled brush. It is the perfect size to fit in under the eyes and just stay in that area. And then also around the nose there, absolutely perfect. It's great around the corners of the nose here and on the chin. Absolutely love this brush. Now, after I apply my under eye concealer, I always go in and set it with a little bit of powder. And I've been using this brush for at least a year. And this is the Real Techniques Precision Brush. It's kind of dirty there, sorry about that. And this is an imitation squirrel brush. I hope they still make it. I'll try to put the link down below if I can find it. But this is an absolutely beautiful little soft brush absolutely the perfect size for under the eyes. It just keeps that highlighting powder right where it needs to be. Absolutely a wonderful brush. Now that we're talking powders, we'll get into one of the fun areas, which is blush application. And these are the two blush brushes that I use kind of interchangeably to apply my brush. The first is a very inexpensive one, and it is part of a kit called the Glam and Beauty Kit that I hope they still have at Walmart. I'll go ahead and link it below. I absolutely love this brush because it's a little bit smaller than most blush brushes. So it allows that blush to be applied just where it needs to be. And there you can see the size comparison there. The Glam and Beauty is a little smaller, which I really do like that, but I really do like this brush. It is just hundreds of fine little, very, very soft bristles. I've had this brush for a couple of years. It works just great and it keeps things beautifully blended out. Now my next brush is kind of a bargain and this is the e.l.f. complexion brush and I have a little B on this one and the one with the B is to apply bronzer but these are absolutely the perfect size to apply powders and amazingly enough for a three or four dollar brush they're absolutely very fine quality. Look how perfectly this brush fits underneath the cheekbones to apply that bronzer. It is great at getting into the hairline, really does a good job there. Absolutely a great bronzer blush and it's also wonderful to apply loose powder. Now I have three brushes to show you here. Here is a contour and highlighter brush from Signa. Absolutely love these. And the taller one of the two that you can see here, that's the highlighter brush. This is the Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter. And look at that right there. Absolutely the perfect size to get in under the eye or on the bridge of the nose or in the little forehead area there or on the cupid's bow of the mouth. Just the perfect size to apply that highlighter. Very soft, wonderful brush. And its companion is the Sigma Small Contour Brush. It's the F05. And there is that one there. And it is the perfect compact size just to apply contour underneath those cheekbones or on that chin line down on the neck. Absolutely love this brush. But if you're a bargain hunter, e.l.f. actually makes a fabulous dupe for that. I don't know if it's an exact dupe, but this is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. And there it is. This is absolutely a great brush to apply contour and highlighter. In fact, I have two of them. Look at the perfect little size there to get in under the eye in terms of highlighter or to get in under the chin in terms of contour. This is absolutely a great brush and every bit as good as these Sigma brushes. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Melody Beatty Language of Letting Go cards. Let's go ahead and mix them up and see what God wants us to think about for today. Ooh, solving problems. Solving problems. Isn't that what life is all about? Today, I will face any problems that are mine and work to seek solutions. I realize that there are always challenges in life but I know that I have the ability to solve them and to grow stronger in the process. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card. And you know, I was talking to my sister about just this topic the other day. 
I think in my first half I used to think that if only I got more organized or got things more planned out that maybe I would get to a point where everything would be level and it would no longer have any problems well I waited for that for decades and you know I'm well into my second half and it has not happened yet I have finally realized that life is really like a school it's a spiritual school where basically we have problem and rest and problem and rest and then maybe sometimes problem 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 friends this is a wonderful card and just the other day I was talking to my sister about just this issue in my first half I used to think that if I was just a little bit more organized I could come to a place where I just wouldn't have any more problems well here I am decades later and for many of those decades I waited to get to a problem-free existence and in my second half I finally realized that that is never going to come that to be alive is to have problems but let's remember that if we just work hard enough we have the ability to solve them and in the process they will make us grow stronger take care see you next time